just like the same principle I preach around in my book. Start from home. Start where you are with what you have. Don't start a super center store with a capital that can only run a kiosk, a small shop. Use constructively the resources you have now to push you to the next level. Use constructively the friendships you have now to get you to the next level. Use constructively the space and money and everything else that you have right now to push you to the next level. Some of you are wondering and asking, Sam, even if you want us to start something great, something good, where do I get it? All I do is go to work and just go back home and maybe watch TV and take care of my family. But then I, I don't have anything else to do. Okay. All it takes is just one idea, just one single idea. It only takes an apple falling from a tree and you'll get to discover what gravity is. This single idea, it can come when you think, when you imagine, while meditating, while praying, while in that element whereby you can tap into the subconscious. All you need is look for that idea. If you don't have an idea, just sit back every day. Give yourself time and a few minutes to just think quietly maybe out there in the park where it's beautiful, maybe just in your house and with some good music, maybe just quiet somewhere. And every day, tap into your subconscious. It's meditation, people call it. Some people call it deep prayer. Write down these ideas. As you keep on digging and thinking, what business, what is it that I'm good at? What business can I do that can really push me forward, that can revolutionize my life? Keep writing these ideas down and uh, think about the ideas, think about the thinking itself. Ask people, do some research around these ideas. I promise you will, you will come with one good idea down the line that you can pursue. And then from there, start small. In my book, From Good to Great, I usually tell people, or rather I've written, start small, but in a great way. Just because you're starting small does not mean you're mediocre. There is a difference between being mediocre and starting sp small. A lot of people out there think that being mediocre is starting with one brick at a time. No, being mediocre is actually starting small or big, but in a very haphazard manner. It's just like the same principle I preach around in my book. Start from home. Start where you are with what you have. Don't start 
a super center store with a capital that can only run a kiosk, a small shop. Use constructively the resources you have now to push you to the next level. Use constructively the friendships you have now to get you to the next level. Use constructively the space and money and everything else that you have right now to push you to the next level. Now, if you do that, you'll be able to start small, but you'll be able to concentrate with that small part of the project and make it so good to a point that it will just grow and it will overflow. And once you become so full in the place you are, now you can overflow and expand. Everything starts with an idea. And ideas come from our minds. And our mind imagines. And so everything starts from our imagination. So please don't be afraid to think big. If you don't think big enough, you might as well set yourself up for failure. You have to think big. Thinking small will keep you small. And if it's in a marketplace, staying small will finish you. You will be stepped on by big markets because they thought big while you are busy thinking small. Sometimes you want to think big but the environment, the people around you are telling you, hey dude, you're crazy. They are small minds. Do not listen to small minds that tell you that you're crazy, that you cannot do it, that tell you and give you funny questions that suggest that you are not doing the right thing. Sometimes you may think big until you scare people around you. If you don't think big enough to a point that people around you are scared, then you're not thinking big enough. Let me give you an example. One day I quit my job and that is many, many years ago, maybe 15 years ago. I was this young guy and I started a dance group and I knew that this will grow into a huge organization, which it ended up doing. You know, you can go type Refill Ministries and check us out on YouTube. We have done great things out there. And uh, this young man who used to live with me years earlier, and they knew me differently. They knew me as a person who used to invite visitors every Friday and roast some beef and uh, have some meat some, and, 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 and bring some drinks and invite everyone every Friday because it's payday and I had some good money. I was a supervisor somewhere and this young man was sent by other comrades who were my friends then and uh, he told me, dude, You've lost your way, man. You used to call us for dinner every Friday. We used to do barbecue. Every Friday you buy drinks, we enjoy ourselves. You had your own apartment. Now you have roommates. Now you don't have a job. You just quit your job. Now you're working with Papa John's, a very flexible job with only a few hours a day. Dude, I even heard that these days you're late paying rent. Your credit is messed up. Dude, what is wrong with you, man? They sent him to tell me that. At that point, I felt very discouraged because I didn't have all the knowledge and in information I had today. At least I had a little from Tony Robbins and a little from Rich Dad, Poor Dad here and there, I read that he was sleeping in the car at one point. So 
they really encouraged me and that's why I usually tell you read books, read books, they keep you going because it's hard to find real mentors out there who are in real life. The real mentors are so busy you can't find them because they're doing big things and I scared my friends and I scared them and, I, and they were wondering Sam is gone crazy. Well here I am. Now I can afford the apartment they were talking about even more. I can afford a life of abundance at least and enjoy myself and have more money to invest and all that and it all took the sacrifice and the idea of thinking big because what I started that day and I went to work for Papa John's for a while is responsible for me talking to you today and telling you hey I can help you maneuver through the path all you need is just an idea don't listen to the people who say no whenever anyone tells you no you have to say yes to yourself I'm talking a lot about ideas today. All you need is one idea. Now let me tell you something about ideas, my dear. Ideas sometimes help you initiate things that lead you to bigger ideas. Whatever you come up with today, might not be the idea that takes you to the next level. It might not be the idea that makes you grow big and great out there like we are supposed to. The idea you begin actually sometimes changes. You can end up shifting your goals totally. See, I started as a dance group. <laughs> And now, now look at the idea about having a dance group vanished a long time ago but it is the root of this big tree called Banana Land Media. So sometimes you might have to trash ideas that you started and come up with new ones. Sometimes ideas might lead you to bigger better ideas and those bigger better ideas get you somewhere. Jeff Bezos started with selling books out of his mom's garage I think don't quote me on that totally I don't know if it was his garage or his mom's garage but all I can say is he started small but in a great way he never ever at one point thought of prime videos or prime delivery. He never at one time thought of going into space. Maybe it was at the back of his imagination. Just one single idea that gets to be a chain of reaction. Keep doing what you're doing if you've already started. If you haven't, keep searching for that idea and don't take long. They are within. They are within. And keep pounding. Keep pounding. Do not give up. Thomas Edison tried 10,000 times before the light bulb came into real life. And now we are enjoying the light today. He pounded and pounded until he found the right way. Search for your idea. My dear. I'm out.